I'm going to show you today how to do partial products multiplication. Uh, this is very different than how your moms and dads learned how to do multiplying when they were kids. So um, make sure to watch carefully and I'll show you the new way to do this. Um, to start off with, it's really helpful if you uh, draw lines to separate your numbers so that each number stays in its own column. Uh, it's really helpful to stay organized and so that you don't get confused with uh, all of your different numbers. Um, and then after that, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a look at your numbers that you're multiplying. So I have 37, which is really the same as 30 and 7. So I pull apart those two numbers, and then down uh, the number that I'm multiplying it with is 5. And so I write this off to the side because what I'm going to be doing now is taking a look at 5 times 30. I figure out that answer and I write it down below uh, with one number in each space for 150 because I know that 3 times 5 is 15 with the one zero after it so I tack that on to the end for 150, 150. Um, next I'm going to look at my other number, 5 times 7, and I know that because it's a basic fact, skip counting by 5s, so I get 35 for my answer, and I'm going to write that below. And I make sure that everything is in its own column so that um, there's no confusion with the numbers. It really helps to line things up carefully. Now that I have um, given every number a chance to be multiplied with the 5, the 5 was with the 30, the 5 was with the 7. There aren't any more numbers that need to be multiplied, so I'll draw a line underneath. I'll add in an addition sign, and now I'm going to add these two numbers together. So very easily, 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 1 plus nothing is 1, and you get a final answer of 185.